Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and welcome to episode 4 of my Mighty Minecraft Invention uh, series. Um, today I just wanted to show off this uh, automated tree farm that I set up. Um, it uses uh, Red Power 2 uh, frame machines. Um, it does not use any type of EU or Minecraft tool to run this thing, uh, which makes it uh, a very good candidate for any type of energy setup where you're going to use uh, parts of the tree as your energy source, be it the wood or charcoal or the um, saplings themselves uh, for uh, a biomass type farm. Let's go ahead and turn it on and show how this thing works. Um, as you can see when I turn it on here, the frame machine head starts moving down and the block breakers start to uh, just chewing away the tree. Um, the key to this thing is really the shape of it. Um, you can see that center uh, block breaker is down, down one lower and that's just to get the last piece of wood here. Um, the way that it detects that a tree has been planted is this uh, lever here uh, powers this repeater. Um, the repeater will send a signal through a solid block like this over to the side but it will not send it through a sapling. So the system knows as soon as a tree has been grown um, and the the um, reason that the deployer goes up that far is the tree will not grow unless it's uh, got some extra clearance above it, I found out. Um, and as you can see, when this thing breaks, this signal turns off, and that wireless signal there, which could be replaced with a tower of redstone, um, comes up here to this uh, wireless receiver, um, and it's split two different ways. Um, using this NOT gate, either this timer or this timer is on at any given time. Um, this timer over here is the pulse to go down with a deployer and a frame machine, frame motor. Um, the other timer just runs around to uh, the other frame motor, which uh, goes up, and the block breaker. So it moves up, breaks a block, and this side places a block and then pushes everything down. Um, on the uh, frame head itself, we've got another timer with uh, some jacketed redstone uh, going on to the uh, red, uh, I don't know, redstone powered <laughs> frame tube things. I can't think of the name of them. Um, and that is hooked up to an ender chest. Uh, the reason that you need the redstone powered timer there is to activate all the block breakers at the same time. Um, on the back of this, in addition to the wireless transmitter, we have a series of uh, redstone signals and lines that uh, just break off with these uh, strips here um, and separate it out. Uh, you can see the power comes over here to this timer on this side. Uh, this one will deploy the saplings. The one over here will deploy the bone meal to grow it. Um, and that ender chest that we had up at the top is feeding down to here and the uh, birch saplings come out of it, get separated off through a diamond pipe to go into the deployer and all the wood gets placed over here. Um, on this side we have a bone meal set up that just feeds into this. You know, Obviously you'd want to uh, skeleton spawner set up to uh, feed into the system and you'd be good to go. Um, that's really all you need is a source of bone meal and uh, an initial couple of saplings to get it started. Um, the frame motors are just powered off of this battery box which are hooked up to a couple of uh, Red Power 2 solar panels. Um, like I said, no EU, no Minecraft jewels needed to run this so it'd be great for a source to create either one of those. Uh, I will probably be using that in my Let's Play series. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is TechStack signing off. Have a good day. And this is my Let's Play series using the Feed the Beast uh, mod loader. And we are playing on the Dire Wolf 20 pack. Today I'm going to be showing off my system that tracks quantity on hand for each individual item that you put into the system. Um, let's go ahead and start up this. tell by my voice uh, I don't sound any funnier than normal um, but that thing just chews through the blocks um, I have a little bit of concern if 